Hello everybody and welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. We are here to do your weekly tarot reading for February 15th through 21st, 2021. And this is for all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus people. So let's just see what spirit messages we've got for you this week. As always, this is a general and intuitive reading. So not all the messages that come out will be for everybody. Just take the ones that are for you and leave the rest behind. Let's see where we go here. Messages for Capricorn, please, for the week ahead. What do we need to know? Messages for Capricorn. Oh, and there we go. And we have the Camel Boy. All right. I'm going to pull all of your cards and we'll go deeper into the energies. That is the uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms that I'm using there for that. And that is in your ally position. And I'll get an Ascended Masters card message for Capricorn, please. We'll take that one. Ah, and we have Choose Peace. All right. And I'll pull your tarot as well. Messages for Capricorn, please. Messages for Capricorn. All right. Here we go. Advice from Spirit for the week ahead. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Your beginning of the week starts out with the Two of Cups. Look at that. And then we have the Two of Swords. And we have the Hermit rounding out your week. So I'm just going to clarify each one. All right. And the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Two of Cups clarified by the Five of Wands. The Two of Swords clarified by the Ten of Wands. And the Hermit is clarified by Death. Okay. I'm going to get a, one more clarifier for that death card there. Clarify, thank you. And we have the Queen of Wands coming out with that one. All right. So we have the Camel Boy coming out first. So this is your ally for the week ahead. It's also card number 33. So 33 is a master number. It's master. Um, so you might want to look up number 33 so for some additional messages for you okay um signs and synchronicities are very important dealing with the camel boy here um this is about receiving help when you most need it and sometimes it requires you asking for help and it shall come and other times it's just when you need something the most and you're like you know, on the verge of being stuck or not finding your way forward, help can sometimes come out of nowhere, all right? It's a beautiful energy helping you out this week. This can be in your career, in your relationships, um, or just it, with you in general, like your, your train of thought. Um, this can be that energy, for example, if you are moving and you know, maybe your, uh, your mover falls through or you need some additional help, a few extra helping hands along the, along the way. All of a sudden you run into a friend who um, just happens to not be busy that day and they might have a pickup truck. Okay, it's that kind of uh, serendipitous energy that's at play for you. Okay, um, if you're on the verge of, you know, you're looking for a new job and just when you think there's nowhere else to look, um, all of a sudden you can run into an old friend who you used to work with and they might have a job opportunity. So it's, it's again, those kind of synchronicities that are helping you out this week. Okay. So, um, keep your eyes open. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it somewhere along the way. All right. And it is there for you. Sorry for the jingling. My dog is just on the other side of the table having a little scratch. All right. And now she's looking at me. So. Uh, the next out, we have choose peace. So some of you might have, might be in the middle of some sort of conflict or an argument. Think about your potential outcomes of the situation. Okay. Whichever one of those gives you a bit of satisfaction, 
okay, or brings peace to your body, that is your answer. So for some of you, it can be putting an end to a job or a relationship, okay, because we do have the death card coming out there, okay. Some of you, it can be finding a peaceful resolution to overcome a conflict. So whatever peace means to you. Some of you might also have to act as a mediator in a situation, okay, to bring, bring about some peaceful resolution if you have um, family or friends or even co-workers that are arguing, okay? You might be the initiator of a peaceful resolution. So however that resonates for you, and it might not be for everybody, but however that resonates for you, there is peace one way or the other. Sometimes that can be forgiveness and growth. Sometimes that can be a departure, okay? So your advice from spirit. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So first and foremost, this can be about your career path, your um, education, okay, your path to success. The Eight of Pentacles is all about working hard to bring about a successful conclusion. Some of you might have an apprenticeship, okay, that you're trying to finish, and it's hard and it requires a lot of hard work and dedication to get to that finish line but the finish line is in sight okay we go from an eight to a ten so wealth and prosperity and success and a completion are right at your door so spirit says here keep on going don't give up if you get stuck ask for help okay that that help with that ten of pentacles could come from a co-worker it could come from a family a friend sometimes a parent a grandparent, someone that is older and wiser than you are. Okay, so however that's resonating for you there, keep on going. If you're trying to find a job or change careers or, you know, level up your financial situation, keep on working hard, stay focused, use all the resources at your disposal, and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it, okay? Now we have the beginning of the week. So like I said, with the choose peace, we have two, two different, we have a couple of different outcomes coming out here. Okay. I do see some of you having some conflict and needing to walk away from a situation. Okay. Um, some sort of difficulty that needs to be overcome. We do have death at the very end. Okay, so for some of you, that's going to be just a change um, for the better. I mean, death is transformation, transformation and transition is always a change for the better, whether it feels like it or not. But I feel some of you might walk away from a situation. Okay, um, you know, and we do have that coming out there with that choose peace. Okay, um, but for others, I do see a resolution. Okay, that um, changes the situation for the better for you. So at the beginning of the week here, we have the two of cups with the five of wands. So it feels like for some of you, you might have uh, some sort of conflict or argument with a, um, uh, with a romantic partner or a friend. Okay, and the five of wands um, can be about uh, competition Okay, it can also be, um, you know, a bit of uh, a bit of conflict or some sort of battle. And it doesn't always have to be negative. Sometimes it can be a battle of wills. All right. Or, um, you know, competing for affection. For some of you, um, some of you might your challenge here. Some of you might be so focused on your career or your studies that perhaps you have a romantic partner that you are not paying a lot of attention to and they're competing for your time and for your affection and your attention and there's love there and there's partnership there they may also be a soulmate with that two of cups energy but it feels like there's there's just that battle and there's that struggle some of you will overcome it all right and change um, and follow your journey and find a healthy balance Okay, and others of you, your relationship may have run its course with that energy. Okay, I do see 
for others of you as well that there is love in your future okay that two of cups energy you might have a soulmate coming in for you here somebody that you have a connection with an emotional connection with here and it could be a friend or a potential romantic partner and that five of wands can be uh you know a lot of people vying for your attention um because i feel you're very desirable with that so there's a few different things going on here with these energies so and again however that resonates for you um, some of you might put in the work to resolve any kind of um, conflict or discord that you have this can also possibly be in the workplace for some of you because that five of wands um, can be your workplace as well so some of you might actually walk away from your current workplace or again with that two of cups coming out there you might be the instigator of peace and resolving that conflict and you'll do so with some kindness and some compassion all right and bring about some more emotional stability to your workplace okay so um you know again take that as that resonates for you the two of swords okay now this can be about being at a crossroads being stuck not being able to see your way forward or having to make some sort of important decision it can also be the energy of um, overthinking something, okay? And it is coming out with the Ten of Wands. So it feels like some of you are, whatever your current situation is, you're at the finish line. So you're at the end of a cycle with that Ten of Wands. And it's been something very stressful, something that you know, feels quite backbreaking. Um, this could be your current job. Like there feels like there's, you know, can be quite a little, quite a bit of, um, uh, conflict and discord in your, um, in your career situation for some of you. And you're really giving things some thought here. Okay. And it feels like for somebody here, you're constantly, um, you're constantly acting as a mediator, um, people are just, there's a lot of infighting, there's not a lot of teamwork, and you are carrying the load. You might actually be the leader um, or in some management position or what people perceive as a leadership role, even if you don't, if you, even if you don't hold the title, okay? You hold a lot of respect, I feel. But you're tired, Okay, you're tired. You're like, oh my God, you go home at the end of the day and you're just stressed out like there's no tomorrow. And you're really doing some contemplating about what you want to do going forward. Do you want to stay and tough it out or do you want to go? And it feels like, you know, like the, the finish line is right there and you're contemplating, you know, do I put an end to this? Okay, do I start something new? And it feels for some of you, you probably will, okay? And for others, you might find a way to change it and change the environment that you're in, okay? So however that resonates, though, is that there's some decisions to be made, some choices at hand, okay? Um, if this is you with perhaps a new romantic interest coming in, um, you might not have expected it, okay? And it might throw you for a loop. Perhaps you were um, uh, putting yourself out there a little bit um, and just to see what happened, right? Just to see, oh, I'll, I'll throw up a dating profile just to see what happens. And then all of a sudden, bam, um, you all of a sudden have, you know, have some interest there and it might cause you to retreat a little bit, okay? And to get real with yourself and think, is that really what I want? Is this really the right time? Because maybe you're focused on your career or your education for some of you with that energy. So you're, you're, you're figuring it out. Okay. Um, but there are decisions to be made going forward in this week for you. Okay. Um, and again, how, what, however your situation is resonating there. Okay. Um, we have the hermit. Now, this is a solitary energy, so some of you may transition out of a relationship or um, a career path and go it alone, okay? Um, this is the energy of Virgo with the Hermit. 
Um, but it's all about going within, listening to your wisdom, okay? The wisdom that resides within you. Listening to your intuition. Um, it's also a very spiritual energy. So uh, it feels like some of you are tapped into um, your angels and guides to look for some sort of guidance as well. Okay. But it's really about taking that time out. Okay. And again, some of you might be going it alone. All right. But you're going to be finding you're not making any sudden moves here with these energies. Um, but you are thinking about things. Okay. And we do have death coming up here with the queen of wands. So death is all about transformation out with the old, get ready for the new things need to change in order to bring about more positivity. So it does feel as though some of you may leave your work situation with this queen of wands here. Um, you might actually be the leader that the good people follow, right? Some of you might actually um, follow your passion, follow your dreams and move to a different company, move to a different department. Um, some of you with that hermit energy, some of you could follow a spiritual path. Okay. The queen of wands is very intuitive as well. So some of you might follow, um, a path that was maybe not foreseen to you before. All right, you might have had some sort of awakening with that hermit and the death and the death card here because this is very spiritual energy with that hermit. Okay, and this won't be for all of you, but I feel for someone, for someone, you may actually be going through a bit of a dark night of a soul moment. Okay, um, coming into focus with your spirituality and finding a different path to follow, taking action on it, something in you has been awakened because death can also be um, a transformation of a way of thinking of your spirituality of your growth, right? This is a huge spiritual growth cycle for somebody. Okay, and you come out on your own, you come out in the end, and you come out just fine. And this five of wands here, with this two of cups, this can be you having an internal battle. Okay, trying to figure things out, duking it out within yourself. All right, having that awakening because two of cups can be you coming into union with your higher self and with spirit as well. Okay, so again, that message isn't going to be for all of you, but it, it likely is for somebody. Okay, and it's a hard journey, right? It's a very solitary journey as a dark, a dark night of the soul. Okay, it really is a lot of hard work. But when you come out the other side, oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. Now, for some of you, you can be, again, like I said, you can be changing your career path and you're done with the fighting, okay? You're going to follow your heart, follow your dreams, follow your passion, okay? You're going to be independent. You're very successful with that Queen of Wands energy coming out there, but it feels like a lot of growth and it feels like through this process or through these um, issues that you've had to deal with and probably be the mediator for because that Queen of Wands energy is very inspirational but also is the kind of energy that people look up to and follow all right so it, but it feels like you're done you're done you've thought about it long and hard and you're just you're tired of it and you know you're you're maybe gonna take some time off um it feels like you have some money saved Okay, and it feels like some of you, um, especially with this advice from Spirit, it feels like some of you might decide to change careers altogether. Okay, um, you might be might be leaving a romantic relationship behind because at this point it feels like you're um, you may not have been with this person for very long, but it feels as though your um, your career and your self sufficiency is maybe more important to you right now than romance. Okay. And again, that's not going to be for everybody, right? There's a lot of depth to these energies that are coming out. Um, death is, um, Scorpio energy. Okay. And then we have Virgo energy as well with that hermit. Okay. So, um, so regardless of your situation, there is a transformative energy here, but it is very positive as well. Transformation is always positive. It doesn't feel like it at the time, 
but it is the release of something that isn't working anyway okay and that brings in something new and again I feel some of you are just doing some soul searching with this you might take a take a time out okay and um, find your way forward okay but don't forget with that camel boy there is help on the way for you whether it's spiritual help okay or help from other people with that ten of pentacles it could be a family member all right someone older and wiser you know you know perhaps you might go to one of your parents or a grandparent even okay um, some of you if you have uh, children out of the mouths of babes okay sometimes a childlike fresh look at something children are filled with wisdom sometimes and they don't even know it and sometimes you might just get a spark of inspiration from one of your children all right um, regardless of their age by the way okay uh, sometimes at any age they just they they don't have filters right they just say what's on their mind or what they see so unexpected places sometimes so I'm going to close out your reading with a couple of Angel's Wishes cards. I'm going to grab this one. Uh, love will get you through. Okay. Love will get you through. You have peace. You do have some love there as well. And also, of course, that Ten of Pentacles, which is family. Okay. You can rely on them. And I'll just get you one more. This one. The signs you are receiving are messages from your angels. Okay. So some of you, again... With that camel boy right what do we say in the beginning synchronicities okay very important for you speaking of synchronicities before I forget because sometimes I get carried away with the messages all right so we have 33 coming out for you there all right we do have 10 10 as well and we also have 22 okay so very important we also have um, let's see what else no, that's it. Okay. I thought I saw something else, but that was just my, my mind playing tricks on me. So we have 22, 33, and 10, 10 coming out for you. Okay. So there might be additional messages if you look up the angel meaning of those numbers as well. Okay. Signs. Angels love to speak in signs, numbers especially. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there for you. So I hope there was something here to um, help you along your, along your way. There was some pretty deep messages came out for you today. Um, so if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just take the parts that resonated with you, okay? And I hope you have the most wonderful week ahead, okay? Very peaceful week, I hope. All right, and um, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.